Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video, we're discussing how to add or remove a secondary face to or from an existing block. First, let's start by opening up Pointwise. On the screen, I have a single spherical block. I could initialize this right now, as is, but that's not very interesting. If I go into the Layers tab, and I check on the small block layer 10, we suddenly now have a cube-shaped block in the middle of the sphere. Computationally, these blocks are isolated from each other. If I initialized either block, they would act as if the other one did not exist. However, I would like to add the cube block, or face, in the middle, to the spherical outer block. To do that, I first select the spherical block. I go up to the Edit menu and scroll down near the bottom and choose the option that says Add Remove Faces. Note that a fourth tab has opened labeled Add Remove Faces. The yellow arrows that you see are pointing into the interior of the volume block. If for some reason they were pointing in the wrong direction, you could always use this button over here for Begin Flip Face Orientation, but right now they are correct. Select all six faces on that cube. I'll select one, and then I'm going to use the menu for Select All Adjacent. There, we've gotten all six chosen. Note that the button over here called Save Face is now enabled. Go ahead and push that button. We now see additional yellow arrows that are pointing into the interior of the volume. Everything looks good, so I'll push OK. We now have a spherical block that has a cubic hole inside of it. Let's initialize it and see how that looks. Now I can go to Examine. I'll choose something like Max Included Angle. I'm going to investigate a cut here. And as you can see, this slice through the sphere shows that there is actually a cube-shaped hole in the middle. We'll close that. We can also use the same menu that we used to create this to undo this. So it's already selected, so let's go up to Edit, Add Remove Faces. We'll push the button labeled Begin Removing Faces. I'll select that interior face. It is selected. I'll push the button that says End Removing Faces. OK. Now we have a spherical block that is just the way we started. It does not have the cube attached to it in any way. We can initialize it. Go to Examine, Max Included Angles, turn on Cuts. You can see it's as if the cube did not exist. I'll push Close. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.